Hello everybody, it's Emily from Emily Loves London and today I am doing a book review. I was very luckily sent uh, by Claret Press a review copy of Surface Tensions by Sarah Gray and this is a short story collection and it was really good. So the genre um, for this book is short story, scary, emotional kind of stories. The synopsis is this collection of suspenseful short stories that are quite heartbreaking because of the really important subjects she addresses in each story in a really respectful and beautiful way. You'll be shocked, you'll be thrilled, you'll be emotionally torn, but so glad you read it. Uh, my thoughts overall, I don't usually read short stories, but I was captured by the way she wrote uh, with such sympathy for her characters. I was constantly in awe of how much power each story could give, but be so short. I really liked the shortness of each story, as you didn't become too involved in one or the other, um, and you felt like you got enough from each one. Um, I'm going to give a short little review of the three of the different uh, stories that I absolutely loved. Um, the first one is Switched, or oh, not Switched, Switch, I can't say anything today. And this is the first story, um, was interesting and creepy, but not that scary. But then I'm not easily scared, let's be honest. I love my horror films, so I'm not easily scared. Um, I would have liked more suspense in the scenes uh, with the light switch. Um, it was more of a mystery, which I thoroughly enjoyed, and um, especially putting the pieces together. It was a sad story with a great way of tying the house as like the devil, uh, in a way, as it held the stories of its life for so long. Overall, a curious read, but needed more scare for me. Um, the next one I really liked was Last Post. Um, what a heart-wrenching story with such a deep and complicated topics um, woven into the story. It was, wasn't was scary, just like emotionally crippling. I liked that Gabe was his other direction in his life if he'd not been with Iris so this is the main character who had some trouble at the beginning of his life um, and whether or not he was gay or not and I think it had a very important message as a lot of old people come from a society where discussing certain issues is not the norm and I hope this story will bring a more open society and I thoroughly enjoyed the story and it was stick with me forever it was that sort of um, touching and really just important to read. Um, the next story uh, and the last one is called Bruised and this is the final story in the collection and what a story with such emotions and also a creepy ghost story but also this amazing strength from Esther the main character which I absolutely loved and it was so heartbreaking to see how the past really can haunt you it was just a fabulous story to end on with such power and punch and you felt so engrossed as part of the story because it was so realistic in terms of the topics it's, it discussed and um, what happened in her life so yeah I really liked that one it was a great ending to the short story collection overall I gave this a four out of five stars uh, mainly not a five because I wanted more um, scare in, in it because yeah I like scary things but I'm probably a bit desensitised now from watching too many scary things, so probably need to dab down a bit. But anyway, um, that was Surface Tensions by Sarah Gray, and thank you Claret Press for sending me a copy. I really enjoyed it. Um, 
If you like this video give it a thumbs up and if you're new to my channel you can click subscribe below to see more of me talk about films, books, TV shows and games. I hope you have a fantastic day and if you have read Surface Tension let me know in the comments below and I will see you soon for a new video. Bye!